Nerdy people, David here, and welcome back to Reading Wednesday here on David's Corner. I'm excited to be back with a new book this week, and it is not the book that I have promised you that I've been reading. No, it is called Swordbird by Nancy Yi Fan. So this book is written actually by a sixth grader. Her name is Nancy. She was born in China, and she came to the United States when she was young to have her schooling here, and now lives back in China with her parents. There is a series of these books, actually, and I got it because this cover was super, super cute. So the premise of the book is the two factions, the Cardinals and the Blue Jays, are fighting because they think that the other ones stole their eggs and their food. Well, it turns out that there's this guy named Turnot. He's a hawk, and he is living in the forest. And in the forest, he has decided to build himself a tower and take over. And of course, who's in his way? The wood birds the um, Blue Jays and the Cardinals that live in the forest. So he's got to figure out a way to get rid of them. And they've got to figure out a way to protect themselves from him once they figure out that he's involved. There's so many different birds in this. If you're a bird fan at all, it's so, so worth it to, to read about the different birds, see the different styles, and it gets you interested in birds. There's actually a musical group and they're all different birds. So you actually re want to read about well, what kind of birds are these and what would they look like playing an instrument? There's a hummingbird, a loon, a wood duck. Very, very cool. The book reminds me of Redwall in the sense that they're creatures that are living kind of human lives. However, the sometimes the animation, like Turnot's supposed to wear your cloak. So the image of Turnot, he's not wearing a cloak. And I'm not exactly sure how it all interrelates sometimes. The pictures are a little bit different from the rest of the book. She starts every chapter with descriptions from two different books, the Book of Heresy and the Old Scripture. You get a look at the past of these birds and how they view the world. Basically what they need is to summon Swordbird. Not exactly sure how to say this, but Swordbird is kind of like a Jesus type figure. He is the son of the big Sky Lord, or I forget, Sky Bird, and he is summoned by finding these gems, and they use the gems and a song to bring him into reality to punish the wicked. Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. The book is good, however, you can tell that someone who was younger and someone who wasn't trained to write wrote. That's not to say it's bad. I like the book. I like the characters. I'm interested in learning more. But the kind of development that you get with most books and like how the characters are, their personalities and everything, everybody kind of seems very similar. And you never really get in-depth looks at them nothing's wrong per se with the premise and everything like that. It's such a cute idea and you really feel for these people and, and what they're going through. It, it feels like an epic, but it's only over the course of actually about a month. So this is pretty interesting. Um, and of course there's like, there's loss in it and some pretty heavy topics for a sixth grader, but I'm interested actually to read the other books and see how she um, evolved she wrote this book in 2007 when she was in sixth grade. So she, I would say now she's probably in her 20s. Um, so I'm interested to see what has come of her writing since then. Thumbs up on Sorebird. It is a good first introduction to Nancy Fan, And I would say that take it with a grain of salt. Read it for what it is. Because it is a amateur writer's first work. Not saying it's bad saying that it's an interesting read because I wouldn't have been able to read it if it was a bad read. I've been through bad reads. You're not reading a bad read. This isn't a bad read. I'm coming from a critical adult view, so you guys take it how you want it. Check it out from your local library. So back again this week with a MLP comic blind bag. Um, so this is the Twilight Sparkle one. She is there with her pet, Celestia, in the background. Spike here. I am gonna open this the easy way this time. I'm gonna peel off this bottom sticker, which is really sticky. Um, it's kinda of gross. Hopefully I don't get any on the comic itself. Nope, good. I actually got this at Walmart. I found it randomly, randomly in a pile of like markdowns. So good deal, good deal. Here is an up close view of the cover. 
and on the back again like the others it is kind of this glittery shiny with a picture of Twilight there. Now this is Princess Twilight Sparkle. This is Twilight Sparkle. I'm not exactly sure. Inside it is Twilight Sparkle. How to draw Twilight Sparkle. Why is the picture Princess Twilight Sparkle? I have no idea. Our tattoo is number five. It is Rainbow Dash's symbol. Very, very cute. Our sticker, which I love, is one of the covers, and it is number four. It is Pinkie Pie's cover, which we don't have yet. Um, I've done the Apple Jack and the Rainbow Dash. I need to find the Pinkie Pie. I'm thinking I'm going to check out this comic shop and get the last of these. I'm not going to go about and get all the posters and stuff. I'm just mainly getting the comics. I think that I like that they did it differently, where there's just three and three and three or whatever instead of dealing with 16 different posters, 16 different stickers, 16 different tattoos. I'm not buying the same comic over and over and over again. That's just silly. And our poster is number 13, which is Applejack's cover. Very, very cute. She is there with her pets. So all of these are there with their pets, which I love that. Thumbs up on these, like always. Again, I'm so glad that they changed to the new format because I don't want to get the same things over and over again when I know I'm getting them over and over again. When you have a blind bag and you know you don't know what you're going to get, that's one thing. But when you know you're getting this comic and then you still have to get 16 different posters, what are you going to do with 10 versions of the same comic? But a big thumbs up for these anyway. I'm excited to read all of them. And again, like last time, we will, I will read all of them and do a big review at the end. Check out Swordbird by Nancy Yi Fan. That's how I believe her last name is said. If I am saying it wrong, I apologize. And if you know, please put that in the comments below. Like, favorite, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and don't forget to check out Ethan's channel in the description box below. So you guys have a fabulous and excellent rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow for Love Yourself Thursday. Bye!